Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition, S. Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.30. Determine the coordinates x c and y c of the centroid c of the area between the parabola y is equal to x square by a and the straight line y is equal to x. That means our interest is to find the area bounded by two curves. The one curve is equal to y is equal to x square by a and the another curve y is equal to x. In between the area, our interest is to find the centroid. For that, I will consider a small strip which is at a distance of x from the y axis and at a width of dx. That h is the height of the strip. If you look at this strip, the bottom end of the strip on the curve y is equal to x square by a and the top end of the strip is on the line y is equal to x. So to find the value of h, let us take this distance is y1 and let us take this distance is y2. Let this is the centroid of the small strip. Now let this strip is at a distance of yg and that the strip centroid is xg. Now by calculating this xg and integrate it over the limits, then you can find the centroid of the bounded area. Now the x centroid of the small strip is xz. Now from the diag diagram, you can see xz is equal to x plus dx by 2. dx by 2 is a very small quantity so that dx by 2 can be neglected and you can say xj is equal to x. And the area of this small strip. Now the area of this small strip dA is equal to h into the dx. But what is that h? h is nothing but clearly we can see from the diagram h is equal to y2 minus y1. As just now I mentioned y2 is a point on the straight line y is equal to x and y1 is a point on the curve y is equal to x square by a. So I can write this h is equal to x minus x square by a. Now the x centroid of the figure can be calculated using the, da using the equation x z x c is equal to integral x g d a by integral d a. And you know x z is equal to x and d a is equal to h into d x and h is equal to y2 minus y1 where y2 is equal to x and y1 is equal to x square by a because y2 and y1 are the points on the respect to uh, the line and the curves. Now the integral x g a is equal to integral x into d a is nothing but h into d x upon substituting h is equal to x minus x square by a then I will get uh, integral x g d a is equal to integral x into h I am replacing with x minus x square by a into d x. Now here the d x is the integrand and the x limits are varying from 0 to a. Hence uh, integral 0 to a x g d a is equal to integral 0 to a x into x minus x square by a d x. Now perform the integration then I will get integral 0 to a x, x into x becomes x square minus this is x into x square by a this is x cube by a dx. Integrating integral x square becomes x cube by 3 integral x cube by a becomes x to the power of 4 by a and the limits are varying from 0 to a. And after substituting, then you will get to a cube by 3 minus a to the power of 4 by 4 a minus 0 minus 0. So a, a gets cancelled, you will get a cube. So you will get a cube by 3 minus a cube by 4. Upon simplification, you will get the value is a cube by 12. Similarly, I can calculate integral dA. Integral dA, area of the small strip, which is nothing but h into dx and this is equal to integral x limits are varying from 0 to a, hence integral 0 to a and h value as, I, as we discussed in the previous slide, h is nothing but y2 minus y1 
and y2 is a point on the straight line so y2 is equal to x and y1 is a point on the curve which is x square by a so integral 0 to a x minus x square by a after performing the integration you will get x integration x square by 2 and x square integration x cube by 3 and the limits are varying from 0 to a and after performing the equation you will get a square by 2 minus a cube by 3a and minus 0 minus 0 and after simplification you will get the equation a square by 6. Now I can calculate the x centroid that is xc for the given diagram that is integral xg dA by integral dA and you know this is x integral xg dA I calculated as a cube by 12 and integral dA I calculated as a square by 6 and after simplification you will get this value xg is equal to a by 2. Similarly I can calculate yg and yg the centroid of the given area this is yg this is yg this distance this distance is yg clearly I indicated here and which is nothing but y1 plus h by 2. So yg clearly you can see it is y1 plus h by 2 and you know y1 is a point on this curve so y1 is equal to x square by a and h value is nothing but y2 minus y1 as we discussed in the previous slide. So this becomes y1 plus h I can consider as y2 minus y1 by 2 and after simplification you will get y1 by 2 plus y2 by 2 and y1 is a point on this uh, uh, x square by a and y2 is a point on this uh, curve x. So by substituting the corresponding value y2 becomes x and y1 becomes x square by 2a. So this is x by 2 plus x square by 2a. Uh, the y coordinate equation integral yg dA by integral dA. Integral dA value we already calculated. Now our interest is to find integral yg dA and you know yg is equal to this much x by 2 plus x square by 2a. Hence integral yg dA is equal to integral yg into dA is nothing but h into dx. So you know the value of yg and you know the value of h and after substituting clearly we can see integral yg becomes x by 2 plus x square by 2a and h becomes x minus x square by a. After simplification clearly we can see these two gets cancelled and you will be left with only this term and this term and what about this dx is also there and dx the limits are varying from 0 to a. Hence, integral yg dA is equal to integral 0 to a x square by 2 minus x to the power of 4 by 2 a square. By performing the integration, you will get x square by 2 integration, you will get x cube by 6 minus this is x to the power of 5 by 10 a square and the limits are varying from 0 to a. So, first I am substituting a that becomes a cube by 6 and it is a to the power of 5 by 10 a square minus 0 minus 0 and you will get this value a cube by 15 and you already calculated the value of integral dA y coordinate of the given figure yc is equal to integral yg dA by integral dA integral yg dA I calculated as a cube by 15 and integral dA already calculated as a square by 6 and after substituting the corresponding value and after simplifying I will get yc is equal to 2a by 5 this is the, the y coordinate answer.